Test my narrative theme to be great Found here in Genesis 38 Containing virtue to pass the test Or maybe just a little accidental incest In the good book it's not too far We find the story of Judah and Tamar One of three, Judah's oldest son heir Needed kids for a wife to bear Tamar came forth and took his hand Married they were by God's command Wicked was heir, the Lord disapproved So the heavenly father made a drastic move He killed heir, the evil one But don't worry, it's all just begun Carry on the line is the duty of the sons Onan's number two because God killed one So tomorrow and he got busy because they must But Onan perform the coitus interrupt us Recreational, not procreational, not for children It was just sensational So the Lord ended up killing him For Onan refused and he committed sin Shayla was the third, the youngest child Both brothers gone, but he'd have to wait a while Wait until he was of age To marry tomorrow and consummate But he grew up and Judah wouldn't let The marriage transpire for he couldn't forget Aaron Onan, they were both really, really dead. Judah's wife passed and mourned, did he? Two loved ones gone, now his wife make it three. Sheep he owned, they needed a sheep. He decided to take them for his mind to clear. Tamar overheard these plans of the plot, but she refused to let Judah's lineage stop. This is where the tale becomes stranger. Beware of a lustful danger. Tamar traveled ahead of Judah, she devised a plan, tricked Judah and forced his hand. A roadside woman she dressed in the mask, seduced her father-in-law to finish the task. Lured by lust, they struck up a deal, a prostitute service for his go to staff and seal. They did the deed, a sexual desire, Judah didn't know it was Tamar who had conspired. A little while later, Judah sent a lamb to get back his goat from the lady in the land. His messenger went and asked all around, but the people said there was no prostitute to be found. Three months later, Tamar's belly grew as an unmarried woman she knew that she was doomed. Judah gave the order for her to be burned, for sin like this, death she earned. With her time running low, she made one last plea to reveal the man who the father is to be. She revealed the staff with Judah's own seal, and he knew then her just appeal. The staff held truth, for it belonged to none but Judah, for tomorrow he knew. Father again, but to a daughter-in-law, lust is a thorn, Judah's ever in flaw. Aloud he spoke about tomorrow, a cry of praise which he removed the scar. More righteous she than I, Judah had to say, but I wouldn't give her to Sheila on his wedding day. Months went by and tomorrow's day came for the child to be born and bear the name. Twins they were, Perez and Zara, a reminder to Judah of what to beware of. Never again did he do it with Tamar, away he stayed, really, really far. There is beauty in this mess, you see, from Perez came, the man from Galilee. A bunch of broken people committing lots of sins, he came to fix it all and finally make amends. <laughs>